Hello, welcome to the pub quiz. In this quiz, we've got entertainment, pictures, odd one out, the misfits, and a general knowledge round. Now, if you're going to be playing for points, there's 61 on offer, with five of those points being for a question that will be incorrect. Plus, keep your eyes open for my old mate, Boris. He's in the quiz somewhere, and if you spot him, I'll give you two points. Anyway, let's crack on with the quiz and I'll explain more as we run through. The first round the entertainment round. I'll give you five seconds to guess the answer and each one you get correct is worth one point. So here we go, good luck for question number one. Which 1995 crime thriller connects Brad Pitt, Morgan Freeman and Gwyneth Paltrow? Five, four, three, two, one. It's the brilliant film Seven. On to question number two. Niles Barkley, Seal and Mark Morrison all had hit singles with the same title. Can you name it? Five, four, three, two, one. They all had hits called Crazy. Question three. Which medieval torture device is the name of Steve Harris's rock band? Five, four, three, two, one. It's Van Halen. Question 4. In the drama series Downton Abbey, what was Tom Branson's position at the beginning of the series? Five, four, three, two, one. He was the chauffeur. Question 5. Which singer voiced the character Smurfette in the 2011 movie The Smurfs? Five, four, three, two, one. It was the beautiful Katy Perry. Okie dokie, let's move on to the next round, which is the pictures round. Now, once you see the picture, you'll have 10 seconds to guess the answer, and each one you get correct is worth two points. So for picture one, name is Capital City. It's Cape Town in South Africa. Picture two. This is the logo for which NFL team? It's the Minnesota Vikings. Picture three. Name this author. It's the brilliant Ernest Hemingway. Picture four. This is a close-up of what? It's a guitar headstock. Picture five. Can you name this celebrity? It's the super funny Jerry Seinfeld. Picture six. Can you name this dog breed? It's the Alaskan Malamute. Picture seven. Can you name this incredible album? It's Rumours by Fleetwood Mac. And picture eight. Name this painting. It's The Whistler's Mother by James McNeil Whistler. And picture nine. Can you name this type of herb? It's Rosemary. And picture 10. This is a scene from which amazing film? It's where Dorothy sees Auntie Em in the crystal ball in The Wizard of Oz. What an amazing film. 
Right, so let's crack on to the next round, which is called The Odd One Out. Now, once I've given you the options, I'll give you five seconds to guess which one it is. And each one you get correct is worth one point. So for number one, which musician was not born in England? Is it Elton John, Cliff Richard, Mick Jagger or Olivia Newton-John? It was Cliff Richard, who was born in India. Number two, which of these US cities has not hosted the Summer Olympics? Is it Atlanta, Georgia, Los Angeles, California, St. Louis in Missouri, or Salt Lake City in Utah? Five, four, three, two, it's Salt Lake City, but they did host the Winter Olympics in 2002. On to number three. Who was not a Bronte sister? Was it Anne, Charlotte, Emily or Jane? Five, four, three, two, one. It's Jane. Now I must warn anyone that's on a diet for this next question to skip it because I'm going to be showing you some disgusting Disgusting images of chocolate. Right, let's see if we can get through this one without feeling peckish. Which of these is not a UK Cadbury's chocolate brand? Is it the Picnic, the Toffee Crisp, the Curly Whirly, or the Crunchy? Five, four, three, two, one. The answer's the Toffee Crisp, which is Nestle. Okay, question five. Which of these is not a species of owl? Is it harpy, booted, serpent, or ghost? Five, four, three, two, one. It's a ghost. Righty, let's move on to one of our new rounds, which is called Misfits. Now, in each round, you'll see six different pictures. Four will be correct, but two will be misfits. Each round you get correct is worth five points. So here we go for round number one. Just tell me, who are the four sirs leaving you the two misfits? Now the two that haven't become sirs at the time of making this video are the actors Dick Van Dyke and Jim Broadbent. Okie dokie, let's move on to round two. Now with this round I need you to tell me who are the four members of the royal family and the two that are misfits. Well, the two misfits are Janice Joplin and Lady Gaga. Let me know if you got caught out with that round. Okay, number three. I need you to tell me which four pictures are of super sporting stars' legs and which are the two misfits. Two that weren't sporting superstars was actor David Hasselhoff and singing legend Sir Elton John. Well, I do hope you've got all possible 15 points for that round. Right, on to the last round, which is the general knowledge round. Everyone you get correct is worth one point. So here we go for question number one. Which was the first American pizza chain to open restaurants in Italy? Five, four, three, two... One. It was Domino's back in 2015. Question 2. Eaton, Norfolk and Eisenhower are all types of what clothing? Five, four, three, two, one. They are jackets. Question 3. Which Paris railway station takes its name from the ancient Greek home of poetry? Five, four, three, two, one. It's Montparnasse. Question four. 
Which rock band took their name from the inventor of the seed drill? Five, four, three, two, one. It's Jethro Tull. Question five. In the original version of the board game Operation, which item was removed from the patient's throat? Five, four, three, two, one. It was the Adam's apple. Question six. Which mobile app started out under the name Peekaboo? Five, four, three, two, one. It was Snapchat. Question seven. In which US state is Fort Knox located? Five, four, three, two, one. It's in Kentucky. Question eight. A Ford car model between 1983 and 1993 was named after which constellation? Five, four, three, two, one. It was the Ford Orion. Question nine. Which food item means to rapidly increase? Five, four, three, two, one. It's mushroom. Question ten. In which movie does Clint Eastwood say, Go ahead, make my day? Five, four, three, two, one. It was Sudden Impact. Well, did you spot the deliberate mistake for five points? I said for question number three of the entertainment round that Steve Harris's rock band was called Van Halen, when it's actually Iron Maiden. And did you spot Boris for two points? He made an appearance in picture round number four of the guitar head. Well, I really hope you enjoyed playing our pub quiz and you'll promise me that you'll come back and play more quizzes with us at Fun Quiz soon. In the meantime, you please, please take care. Bye.